That's one of beauties thing in Jiu Jitsu that basically some moves are so natural for us. Sometimes you can come in for three months of time, drilling and doing the same old shit or different shit and it's like and it's not clicking. But then someone just appear and tells you or show you one thing and you think like, ah, oh, fuck's sake, now I know. And all these three moments become like, <laughs> One, and then you realize every single move why you've been doing this for what should I do in order to get back listen this is my dream to train every day don't worry about bills and don't worry about work don't worry about anything just train this is my dream this is inside of me as well so if I'm saying to myself like listen for all these years I've been training Jiu Jitsu I've been working I've been looking after my daughter I've been looking after her house and you know bills and everything if I wouldn't have all this and I could only focus on Jiu Jitsu how could I possibly be I don't know do I still can't be as good probably yes so that's why I'm still fucking doing it <laughs> this is my drive I still want to see how good I am and and I want to prove myself, like a lot of people say, no, oh, you're too old now, you know what I mean, David, you just need to chill out now, and I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm just dying. <laughs> and that's the funny thing about it, because a lot of people think, like, yeah, you're black belt now, and I'm like, yeah, and, yeah, that, is that not retirement? I'm like, no, this is just fucking beginning. <laughs> This is what, I, what I've been aiming for all my life. I think we as a gym were really competitive. Like mine won three times European Championships, he won six times British Open, I won five times British. I've been silver medalist at the Europeans, I won Naga. I won a lot of competitions, yeah. So I've been, I've been competing since I was white belt. Uh, up to now, as a black belt. As a black belt, I've been in Paris, one double goal, I've been in Italy, one double goal, you know, so I've been competing quite often and quite a lot. So I just want to push myself and see how much more I can do. Oh yeah, I think that's the difference, you know, when you go, people who are competitive, who are competing actively, they roll it differently, somebody. But when it comes to the competition, I think you need to be effective rather than fancy. I mean, if you can link it together, beautiful, you know, well, it's very rare and you can see very rare that, uh, you know, proper high level guys like Gordon, Gordon Lyon for example, have you seen him doing belly ball or any crazy stuff? No, he's basically doing basic stuff, proper base down, hips down, you know, pressure passing and, and, and proper football here. After you do your first competition, you're changing your point of view, you're changing your imagination about Jiu-Jitsu because you want, you want your Jiu-Jitsu to be efficient. You don't want to be fancy, you want to be more efficient because when you fight against your opponent, your opponent might have a lot of reasons to beat you up. He wants to prove himself, you want to prove yourself. And if he wants to more, he's not gonna care about very bolos. He just wanna go, take you down, smash you to the floor, and fucking pin you and choke you out. And you, if you won't be able to handle it, you you have to you'll be forced to tap. So I think uh, that's when you're gonna go compete. This is what you're facing. You're facing guy on opposite side who wants to fuck you up, and then you're thinking like, shit, man. So this is what it's all. This is what jujitsu is all about. This is, because a lot of people watching these days videos and you know oh Jiu Jitsu is you know yeah he's cool fun he is human chess he's really nice gentle art yeah but not while you compete while you compete you want to fuck you fuck your opponent up you know what I mean in gentle way you don't want to you don't want to injure him whatsoever but you want to go 100% and be trying to use your skills which you learn over years you know so we like this kind of Switzerland knife Swiss art knife Swiss Army knife, yeah. So you just, you know, you just collecting skills. So you got more and more and more. Like you got takedowns, you got defense, you got defense, you've got sweeps, you've got submissions, you've got guard and everything. So you want to test everything. Obviously, we're not the best in every single aspect of the game. All right, we all got weaknesses. But well, you want to cover your weaknesses with your strengths. You know. So if I know I'm good, 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 good wrestle, I'm gonna wrestle you. I'm not gonna start from guard because my guard is not as good. So I want to wrestle you. And in order to, if you know your, your strongest side is wrestling, so then you need to be good at passing. And then you need to be good at controlling somebody on top because that's going to be your game. 
And then in order to improve your weak side, you need to come to the gym and start every single time from your weak side until it becomes natural, until it becomes a second nature. So if you got issues with defending footlocks, every day start like grab my foot. I will escape. Grab this, I will try to escape. Or coach, what should I do in order to escape? And then I can tell show you, tell you. And then basically when you're learning, I'm learning as well because you might react differently to this to submission. And this is funny thing, you know, you, you're learning Jiu-Jitsu in three different ways. Visual, while you're doing techniques, you're still in it, learning from someone. All drills, yeah? This is the three ways, in my opinion, uh, how, how basically we adapt to Jiu-Jitsu techniques. And I, I prefer stealing techniques, so very often if I go train somewhere else, I'm kind of always trying to be open and allowing people to do certain things on me. So I just want to see how they're doing it, how I can counter it, what I can do in order to improve my system, you know. So this is the way I always learn. I always learn from my partners, sparring partners, training partners, from my opponents on competitions. If somebody did something right, straight away I'm just like, yeah, that was good, how to do it. And then I'm coming back to gym and I'm trying to do it a few times, see <coughs> how he actually did it, what I can do in order to stop it, what kind of you know uh, backdoors I've got to just to, to counter-attack this technique. So this is the way I like to develop at most. You know, jiu-jitsu is my passion, it's my life, it's my, my lifestyle, I love it, you know. So a lot of people are really stressed up and you know, uh, but I, I enjoying it. As soon as I come in to any type of competition, I'm buzzing. I feel adrenaline. Even if I'm not competing, if somebody would ask me, do you want to compete? I'm like, yeah, let's go. I don't mind. Um, I'm really proud of my students, you know, and every time I'm, when, we, when we're here, I always try to make sure that everybody doing everything right. So I'm always walking around the class, correct them everything. And while they're competing, I feel really proud. And and I try to use the language, you know, English is not my first language, but I always try to use the language so I can understand and they can understand what I want them to do in certain time and in certain place. Uh, and you know what, it's like, it's in, in competition never, never affect me. Uh, so I could always coach and spar, uh, I, could, I could always coach and fight on the same day, I don't mind. To be honest, it's like, it's never... What is it? Do you, do you think that's like from like your love of Jiu-Jitsu, like you just love competing, that like coaching is... Like which one would you say is more stressful for you? Is that the competition or the coaching? To be honest, to be honest, I've never been stressing about competition. Okay. Yeah, I've never been stressing too much. Obviously, everybody got this little stress. Yeah, like, you know, you... you but, you know what, it's maybe from, it's coming from my work ethic because what it is, it's like I want to be prepared for every single competition as best as I can so then I can't really have I've been chilling on the sofa. It's like if I couldn't train, I had to do something at work or at home or something like that. So when I'm got there, I always like listen. You do what you could. You prepare yourself as much you you could. You know, it's new, this is not like you know my life-threatening situation. You know what I mean? It's just jujitsu. You know, this is my passion. If we, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna learn something. If I'm gonna win, you know, it's cool. If I'm gonna lose, it's still cool. You know. I lost one of the fights on ADCC. I think uh, I shouldn't lose this fight, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the hooks was on outside as well. But that's not the thing. The guy was better than me. Uh, I, I wasn't there, you know. I didn't feel like uh, I, I'm there. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I was like when I watched this free fight in all of these free fights, I was like in slow motion mode. I never like that when you, you know when I'm training here or I'm competition. I proper buzzing and uh, you know I'm going for it. This time was like just like no, 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 one of these things. So I don't know if this is a bit rust after, you know, not competing for a while or something, I don't know. Plus ADCC, was, it was the first time I actually competed at ADCC and they've got different rules set as well, so... Yeah, so that's kind of... I wasn't sure if I did right or didn't do right, you know, so I was kind of... 
and I found out on the last minute as well I can't do heel hooks and I was like I was I was aiming for a lot of heel hooks and I, and then on the end of the day they said like no masters can't do heel hooks and I'm like shit man that's like 80% of my preparation you know what I mean just throw out through the window so maybe that's why I was a little bit confused and I didn't want to you know just get myself decued Still, end of the day, I think it was a really, really good experience. I'm happy I took a part, uh, and I'm looking forward to starting to to go for for British to, to compete at British Open on 3rd of December. So yeah, looking forward.